Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am gonna do a get ready with me, hence the no makeup. Not sure if you guys will recognize me because if all of you guys have watched some of my previous videos or follow me on Instagram, you know, um, you'll probably know and will have guessed that I love my makeup. Um, so it's actually what I do as a job. It's what I trained in as well. So I trained at college for a year um, after I left London to do performing arts. I came back home and I trained for a year at college um, in makeup artistry. So I did special effects, bridal makeup, skincare, so everything you can name under the sun to do with makeup. Um, yeah, so I'm very proud to say I'm a qualified level three makeup artist. And since then, I've been working in the industry as well. Uh, so I started off at Benefit, um, then I moved on to Clarins, and now I am working for Estee Lauder. Um, so a lot of the products that I'm using today um, are Estee Lauder products, obviously, because that's who I work with. Um, so I work with those products a lot anyway at work, and it just makes me fall in love with them even more. So let's get started, because I thought I had loads of time. Typical Sophie, don't have any time at all. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a really quick and simple makeup look um, that I do on like a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, obviously, um, ha having a toddler and being a single mum, I, I don't have lots of time in the morning. Um, so my makeup routine probably used to be about half an hour long before I had Vogue. And now I've got Vogue, it's very different. It probably takes me like 10 minutes. Uh, so it's really quick and easy to do, so perfect for beginners or if you're in a rush. So I'm going to stop bumbling now, rambling, uh, and just head straight on to the video. So I'm kind of going to just uh, talk through it and yeah, just get ready with me basically. Uh, so first I'm going to start with, so obviously I've cleansed my face um, and I've moisturised it. So next I'm going to do is prime it. So I'm gonna be using the Double Wear Flawless Hydrating Primer. Um, so this is great, because it's got SPF 45 in. So it really protects the skin. So I'm just gonna put one pump into my hands, rub it together like so, and just apply it all over the face. So I didn't actually used to wear, I, some, I'm gonna put a grip in my hair, just to make it slightly more Convenient, convenient. If you didn't hear what I just said with the grip in my mouth. Um, but yeah, I didn't use two. I'm gonna put some more on actually as well because I want a really dewy, natural, glowy look today. Um, and I feel like the more primer and base that I put on, the less foundation I put on. There we are. So, yeah, so it's a lovely primer. Um, I do use the illuminating primer as well from Estee Lauder. Um, so I wondered when I first tried um, this primer if I would like it as much. Um, it just gives more of a smoothing finish, I would say. And obviously it's brilliant for dry skin. I suffer from dry skin, particularly in this weather as well. Um, so I find it really hydrating and it just gives a really flawless finish before you put the makeup on. So next I'm going to go in with my Double Wear Light Foundation. So this has got SPF 10 in. So again, it's really, really important to protect your skin every day with SPF. Um, I can't stress it enough, it's so important. Um, but this I am using in the shade Fawn. So it's quite a warm color. I do change between colors, obviously throughout the year. Um, but this is still quite a summery, it's quite a warm colour, so you'll probably see the difference when I apply it compared to my actual natural face colour. Um, but I blend it in quite well. Um, so I use probably one quite big generous pump. Um, and then I'm going, and then I apply it with my beauty blender, which is a real techniques beauty blender and you can purchase these from Boots or Superdrug or quite a lot of, I think even like Tesco and Asda stock um, the Real Technique beauty blenders. I've never actually tried any other brand of beauty blenders, but I mean, I, I just love this beauty blender. I think it's great. 
So I kind of just really work it into the skin. And because I'm going for like just a really quick natural day look, I probably just stop there. Blend, blend, blend. So that's that. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. Um, so I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade da -da -da, 1O. So you can see it there. So concealer, I apply quite a generous amount of concealer and I kind of just apply in a V shape underneath my eyes, like so. I think I'm gonna have to take this clip out. It's really annoying me for some reason. I feel like it's not actually doing the job that I that I wanted it to do. I wanted it to like hold back my hair and it's not doing that. And I'm aware I look very strange. So, um, yeah, I've applied the concealer underneath my eyes quite generously. I'm going to go in with a different beauty blender, and this time I'm going to use the kind of cone side of the beauty blender, just so it allows me to get into the corners of my eye um, to blend really well. So again, just really quick and easy blending. Sometimes it's really strange. When I try really hard to make my makeup look nice, I feel like it looks worse. It's somebody else get that. I feel like the, the quicker I do it and the less like stressed I get about it, it actually turns out better. So with concealer, so as you can probably see, foundation I did I usually go like one to two shades lighter. Um, and in summer, that will probably blend in a lot better than what it probably did then, because obviously I'm quite pale at the minute. Um, so yeah, foundations, I always go one to two shades warmer, just personal preference. You can get it matched to your own skin, uh, slightly warmer. Sometimes people even go lighter. Um, so that's my personal preference. And then I always go a shade lighter with concealer, just to really brighten under the eyes as well and to block out the blue dark circles under my eyes through tiredness. So that's foundation and concealer. Done. <laughs> so now my base is done. The next step that I do, I go on to eyebrows. Um, so I'm going to be using the Benefit Browsings in shade free. Not sure if you can see that. And for those of you that have used the Benefit Browsings before, um, it's really cool. It comes with like a little set of tweezers and two separate brushes. I tend to just use the angled side of the brush just to get like a really sharp, defined brow. And as you can see, there's like a wax and a powder together. I literally just mix the two together, um, again, just for quickness. Um, and then I kind of just follow my natural shape. So I do actually have my brows um, waxed and tinted probably every four to six weeks, I would say. Um, I'm lucky, the lady who does my nails is absolutely fabulous at brows. She's so, so good. I remember I was so nervous when I first went to her as well, because I was going to another lady for years and I think brows is such a massive thing. And obviously, once you mess, if you mess up your brows, it takes quite a long time for them to grow back. So I remember being super nervous, but I thought, no, I've got to trust her. <laughs> got to find someone else. Can't have bushy slugs. So just following my brow like so. I always kind of start off in the middle of the brow. Um, I never start at the front of the brow just because when I've got loads of product on the brush I don't want to start at the front of the brow because I like to leave the front bit quite natural and um, bushy So that's filled in that brow so I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in the other one now is my brows filled in so I'm aware they look quite dark and um, what's the word they just look quite dark I can't think of the word dark and strong strong isn't the right word but defined dark and defined they look really dark and defined uh, but I promise you once I've got the rest of my makeup on it will look 
a little bit kind of all together. Um, so as you can see, um, I leave the front bit just a kind of bit more natural. Um, because what I like to do, I use this little tinted brow gel from Natural Collection. So super cheap. And I kind of just run through my brows like so and do the front bit just because I think it fluffs them out a little bit and gives them more of like a natural look rather than such a neat defined look. When I was working on the benefit counter in Boots as a full-time makeup artist, uh, this was before I had Vogue, I would get up uh, and spend probably like half an hour on my makeup and make sure everything is perfect. Uh, so, so different now. I'm literally, uh, I really go by the quote, brows are sisters, not twins. <laughs> so yeah, literally I would have ages ago, I would have tried to like match them up and make them like perfect and well in line. Uh, but yeah, just don't have that time anymore. So sometimes it can be a little bit different. Uh, so next I go on to eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do quite a bold lip today. So I'm gonna put a really natural eyeshadow on. So I will show you guys what I'm gonna use. So I, a few weeks ago, went on my training with Estee Lauder and was lucky enough to be shown all the new products launching this year, uh, which is always a super exciting and definitely a bonus to the job. Um, and we've got this exciting palette launching. So it's the Estee Lauder Pure Envy palette. And I will just show you guys the beautiful colors in there. So can you see, can we just appreciate the colors? They are beautiful. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five matte colors. And then we've got the rest are like pigmented shimmery colors, which are beautiful. I personally love a little bit of a glitter shimmery eye. Um, so the color I'm gonna be using today is this color here. So it looks quite dark. It's like more of a dark brown color. And I'm gonna be using a large fluffy brush. So you can buy large fluffy brushes from anywhere. And I'm just, I always shake off the excess so it doesn't go on too harsh. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just quickly do circular motions in the brow bone. Like so. Except I don't really want loads on just because I'm doing a bold lip today. just because I feel like it goes with my outfit there. So basically I'm going out, it's my grandma's birthday today. So Vogue is at preschool, hence why it's really quiet and peaceful here. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I'm not, but that sounds bad, but it is true. <gasps> ah! Sugar. It's got glitter all on it now. Dear me. Hmm kind of messed up the mattifying look that I was going for so I'm just gonna but these things happen guys these things happen it's kind of gonna blend it in a little bit with my finger um, I mean you can still see the glitter slightly but it's not too bad what I think I'm gonna do just to try and blend it in a little bit is go in with my finger um, and just tap a little bit of glitter here. I think I'm gonna go for like the goldy one because I think gold will work well with the lipstick that I'm planning on using and just really roughly kind of tap it over. I wouldn't usually do this every day but seeing as I am going out for a meal and it's my grandma's birthday and because I've just got glitter on my eyes anyway, then just why not? <laughs> why not baby? So I really like gold glitter. I think it just makes the eyes pop because I'm not going to put any further um, eyeshadow or eyeliner on or anything like that. So uh, once I put the mascara on, it will kind of really, the glitter will really come out a little bit more. <laughs> oh guys, this makeup tutorial is going really bad. Uh, so I was just gonna show you um, what I highlight my inner corner eyes with and my brow bone with. Um, and it's called Mac Nylon, and I would show you, but I've just gone to get it out, and it just fell all over the floor. Great stuff. But I've managed to save probably like a quarter of it, 
So it's a, a mini eyeshadow. It's called Nylon from MAC. It's like a really illuminating highlighter colour. So I use a small angled eyeshadow brush and just kind of tap in the inner corner here of my eyes. And then it's kind of on the brow bone here. Because what this does, it really lifts the brow bone and it highlights the higher points of your face which contours your cheekbones. So next is mascara. So I'm going to be using Rodeo Glamo Lash Mascara Extra Extra Large. This is like a mini version um, because I was gifted this. Um, and I must say it is an incredible mascara. It gives a really like a false lash full effect. Well, you guys will see because <laughs> I'm applying it now. Um, so again, I can't do this in the iPhone camera. Um, but look at that brush, I'll just show you. So the brush is quite thick. So you can probably see how it gives really like full effect, full effect, thick, false lash look. So because I'm doing a bold lip, I want to go for a really bright eyed, kind of bambi eye look. So quite big and just natural. So this is a perfect mascara for that because it will just um, enhance my eyelashes, make them look longer, and just make my eyes stand out. So you only need a couple of layers, look how good it is, brilliant. So obviously it's optional how many layers you would like to put on. I personally like quite a lot of mascara. So but you can see there how it just opens up the eye, and then without um, I usually, with the rest of the mascara on that application, I go in with my bottom eyelashes. So that's with one eyelash on and one eyelash off, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eyelash now. So that is the mascara on both eyes done there. Um, so next I am going to apply a bronzer to contour my cheeks. So I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in shade... 03 medium deep um, so this bronzer is absolutely amazing it's got like a really warmth undertone to it it's not got like an orangey undertone to it which some bronzers do um, so I'm going to be using just an angled brush I'm not sure where this brush is from I've had it donkey shears I should probably invest in a new contour brush um, but yeah so I will just show you so I kind of apply I kind of do circular motions tap off the excess and then I kind of suck my cheeks in, pull a funny fish face. And just like so. So I do quite gentle strokes and I kind of just follow the, my natural cheekbone that kind of goes from my ear down to the corner of my lip. So that's, this is probably a better angle actually for you guys to see. Can you see how it just gives a really nice natural kind of definition to your cheekbones? And then I just kind of do circular motions like so. So this kind of just contours the forehead area and then I kind of just blend it down to your jawline. So you can do like almost like a free shape. So next I'm gonna be applying blusher. So I've been using this blusher since I worked at Benefit and I absolutely adore it. Um, so it's the Sugar Balm Blush and it lasts years as well. Like literally lasts me probably like two, three years. Um, so I just use the brush that comes with it. Again, just quick and easy. And I will just show you. So it's got four separate colors in there. So it's got like a bronzy colour, a highlighting orangey colour and then two like pinky peachy colours. Um, so I think I like it just because it gives quite like a natural corally peach look. And I apply this just above the bronzer. So again, there's no like real technique to it. I kind of just put it on. <laughs> so next is highlighter. So the highlighter I have been using bit of hair very frustrating and um, so 
Next is highlighter. So the highlighter I have been using for like two, three years now and can't seem to find one any better um, is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Again, lasts ages as well. Um, and I'm gonna be using like a little feather brush here, which again is years old, as you can probably tell, as it has snapped in half. So maybe I should invest in a few more brushes before I do any makeup tutorials, because it doesn't look good, does it? But it's just for your life. Um, so I use this one, but a fan brush would be ideal, so a really long, thin brush. Uh, I think MAC sell them, Smashbox sell them. Um, so I'm just kind of applying this to the higher points of my face because it complements where I have contoured as well. Um, so it's just above my cheekbones, a little bit on the tip of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow because that gives the illusion of bigger lips as well. And then if you haven't, obviously I've done the step where I put the highlighter on the inner corner of my eye and underneath my brow bone. But sometimes when I'm rushing and I skip that step, I kind of just put a little bit on under the brow bone here. So last but not least guys, my favorite bit, literally, I love lipstick. I, I think it just completely finished off the whole look um, and it just completely changes your face within seconds. And I think it, you, whatever lipstick shade you choose you it depends on like what mood how you're feeling that day and it can just completely change the way you feel it can give you so much confidence so today because i've gone for quite a natural look on my face um, and because i'm going out i have gone i have chosen to go with a bright bold lipstick and this is a new favorite shade and lipstick of mine so again this was gifted and it's a rodeo lipstick so it's the first time I've tried any radial products and I must say I'm very impressed with them. I will be purchasing them in the future. Um, and this shade here, I'll show you the shade. So it's called Suede Lips, it's by Rodial. It's almost like a big crayon, so which is really cool. And what I love about it as well is I don't have to line my lips before I apply the lipstick. Um, so again, just really quick and easy. And this is in the shade Rodeo Drive. And I wore the shade last week and I absolutely fell in love with it. It was really long lasting as well, which I thought was gonna be interesting to see. Um, so, but yeah, it lasted really well. Again, I wore it when I went shopping and I went out for food and I was pleasantly surprised um, how hydrating it was considering it's quite like a suede matte finish. Um, yeah, so I'll be looking at some more shades and purchasing maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. So I always start off at the cupid's bow and just kind of follow the lips around. Can you see how pigmented that is? It's beautiful. So you guys can see the gorgeous color. It's like a corally, no, not coral, that's so wrong. Um, it's like an orangey red, it's absolutely beautiful. It feels like I haven't got anything on, it's so silky. Um, yeah, and it's so pigmented as well. I hope you guys saw how pigmented it was. Um, yeah, so that's it. So that is my pretty much finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and picked up some helpful tips. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, and let me know if you guys would like to see any more videos like this, like beauty and makeup tips and skincare, um, because that's what I'm really passionate about as well. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon. See you later, bye.